welcome everyone to Nature Notes. My name is Brandon, and today we're going to talk about something that's easy to overlook as you're walking uh, or running through Schmeekly. Now, you have to look a little closer in order to see, but I have noticed as I'm walking through Schmeekly, these little colored patches on the trees here uh, made me stop and wonder what they are. Now, after doing some research, I learned that these are in fact lichens, and they grow on all kinds of different things here in Schmeekly. Uh, such as rocks, trees, um, and they are in fact not harmful, so you don't have to worry. Uh, they are a combination of algae and fungi, and they work together in order to grow, each providing one another with something very important in order to survive. Now, the fungi provides the structure uh, for the lichen, and then the algae, uh, through photosynthesis, makes the food and then feeds the fungi, and that's how they work together in order to survive. Now, lichens, like I said, grow on a lot of different things, um, but when you see them, it's a really good sign because they're great indicators of air quality. Now, a lot of different varieties uh, can be found here in Schmeekly, um, and we'll talk about a few of those. Lichens are very sensitive to air pollution, and since they absorb uh, the minerals and rainwater through the through rain and the atmosphere, um, when there are certain chemicals present, some species of lichens will not be found, indicating that there might be some sort of specific pollutant in the area. So if you see them, and we do here in Schmeekly, it's a really good sign of air quality. Now, like I said earlier, um, there are many different lichens uh, species of lichens here in Wisconsin uh, and in Schmeekly, and they can be broken down anywhere from three to seven different categories. The most common three I'm going to talk to you about today, um, they are divided depending on how they grow and what they grow on. So the first type is called crustose, and these types of lichens form crusts that are really tight, that really tightly attach themselves uh, to things such as rocks or trees and they really can't be removed um, without causing damage to whatever they're growing on. Now here's an example of a crustose type of lichen growing on a rock and as you can see they it just looks like a layer of crust on top of that rock. So that's the first of the three that we're going to talk about, three types. The second is called folios, and otherwise uh, a descriptor is leafy. So these ones uh, look somewhat uh, leaf-like and often have lobes. Now they are loosely attached by rhizines, or essentially lichen roots, and often grow somewhat parallel in the direction of the substrate. Um, and an example would be the common green shield lichen, which is what we have growing here on this tree. And if you can't see it, this is a closer photo. So this is common green shield. Now the name uh, does it justice. It's very common. This is one that I see most often. Then our last one, our last type of lichen is called fruticose. Um, and this lichen is the most three-dimensional. Um, and it grows often in a vertical uh, direction. They are the most branched out of the three types of lichens, and they can look like little shrubs, um, or they can look like long, loose strands. So I have some photos here. This is one that might look like a little shrub. This is reindeer lichen. And then, this is one that uh, is pretty fun if people see it. This is uh, old, man's beard, old man's beard lichen. And if you find some laying on the ground, they make great fake mustaches <laughs> um, for some good photo opportunities. Now that is just a little bit about lichens uh, here uh, in Schmeekly. And as you can tell, there are many different interesting types that grow on different things. They have their own unique growing patterns. Uh, I, have a spot, I have spotted at least two different types on this tree alone. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one is, but this green one is the common green shield lichen. Uh, so I encourage you as your next, as, next time as you're walking around Schmeekly uh, to pay a little bit closer attention to some of those things we often overlook uh, and explore some of the sweet lichens we have here in Schmeekly. Thank you.